Hi, it's Dr. Donna. Welcome to week 27. Last week, we read one of my favorite books, The Science of Getting Rich. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love when we read this book. The TED Talk was about naivety and how when you have a naive mindset, you can't have fear at the same time because you don't know what you don't know. Sean Thomas talked about making sure that you have this mindset when you're going for something big. And it means not having a plan B. How often have you said, yeah, I'll go for it, and just in case it doesn't work out, I'll do this instead. Well, he's saying that his business did not become a multi-million dollar business until he threw caution to the wind, approached it with a naive mindset, and then he was able to sell it six years later for a lot of money, and he retired and is currently independent wealthy. So I say to you, kick rocks, fear, have a naive mindset, and then see what happens. Will Smith says, you don't need a plan B because it detracts from plan A. No plan B for Dr. D. The science of getting rich, there's always a jewel, a nugget, something that just kind of goes, you better get it together, Dr. Donna, and continue to focus on creating wealth. This time around, the thing that resonated the most or the concept that resonated the most with me was staying out of competition. How many times are you preparing something and you want to compete? Well, when you compete, it takes you out of your creative mind, it takes you out of being in gratitude, and it takes you into your ego. And we know the ego is always edging God out, and it's a bad idea. Anytime you find yourself being in a competitive mindset, just stop and think and say, what's going on? It's probably attached to some type of insecurity, and what you have to do is just breathe, be in gratitude, stay in faith, and attract what you want. And one more concept that I thought about just now is that when you are talking about all the bad people in your life and all the sucky business owners and all the crap people that are around you, all you're doing is creating more crap. If you want the crap to go away, stop talking about it, stop thinking about it, stop being around it and swimming in it, get rid of the crap, and you're going to create a wealthy life. What book do we have this week? We have Quench Your Thirst by the founder of Samuel Adams. And the TED Talk is fear. <laughs> it's not real anyway. For you guys that are just joining us, go ahead and click on that link below. For the rest of us that have been going along together, thank you for the email from, uh, she asked me not to say her name, but she really likes the science of getting rich. So thank you very much. As I always say, when you can see it and you can read it, then you can believe it and you can achieve it. From here to the galaxy sphere. I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>